Refuse to be sucked into uncertainty. Whenever it looks like we're in an economic downturn, a handful of optimistic and hardworking small business owners and entrepreneurs charge ahead and charge ahead their rallying cry. I refuse to participate in a recession. We aren't currently in a recession, but according to most reliable economic indicators, we aren't in a boom cycle either. However, we are in an era where one indicator is going through the roof, the number of opinion surveys. More public opinion surveys are being conducted today than ever before, and frankly, many are starkly con contradictory. The entire polling and survey industry is in a state of flux itself. Recent major misses in predicting election results are a sign of this. Small business optimism polls, but their accuracy isn't measuring the health and attitude of small businesses seem to equally as poor. But their accuracy in measuring the health and attitude of small businesses seems to be as equally poor. Here's a quote from the CNBC's article summarizing the recent survey conducted by Gallup for Wells Fargo. The Wells Fargo Gallup Small Business Index, a measure of optimism, dropped from 71 in January to 64 in April, Wells Fargo said. It was the first significant decrease since November 2012. The survey questioned 601 small business owners. That article appeared on May 11th, one day later, reporting on a National Federation of Independent Business and Optimism survey. The Wall Street Journal said this, Confidence among small business owners increased in April after a March drop. According to a report released Tuesday, hiring activity also picked up, although many owners said they could not qualify, find qualified workers. In fairness, I need to point out that the Wells Fargo Index has a pre-porting January pre In fairness, I need to point out that the Wells Fargo Index has a reporting period of January to April, while the NFIB Index has a reporting period of March to April. But the important thing to learn is that the surveys, polls, and indexes are not important. In an era like today, they are all over the place, and at best, they create an attitude of uncertainty. Further, even an accurate survey, <coughs> further, even an accurate survey shows where we were, not where we were. Further, even an accurate survey shows where we were, not where we are, and certainly not where we're going. Your future is not controlled by a survey unless you allow it to. This is why I encourage you to refuse to be sucked into the current atmosphere of uncertainty. The enemy of small business owners. Uncertainty is the enemy of a small business owner. You need to make decisions every day. You need to have a strategy that guides you over the next several months. You will make some wrong decisions and you will make some great decisions. That is just a fact. However, you must be resilient. You must be able to put bad decisions behind you and carry on. I believe that for any of your decisions to have a chance at being successful, the actions that follow those decisions must be founded on confidence. Half-hearted efforts are bound to fail. All of us prefer recoveries over recessions and certainly over uncertainties. But for you, a small business owner, all that matters is how you are doing. Remember, even in the absolute worst economic times, such as the Great Depression, there were plenty of successful business, businesses and startups. Go make it happen.